the British-owned crew smashed into the protected Raja Ampat National Marine Park, damaging 13,500 square meters of invaluable coral reef. Caledonians Chiran aground in one of the most biodiverse marine habitats in the world, carrying 102 passengers and 79 crew. The 4,200-ton liner crashed into the reef at low tide on March 4. Passengers had just finished a bird watching to Ron Wygeo Island when the devastating event occurred. The ecosystem's fragile structural habitat has been destroyed, with the loss of coral generativity. Indonesia's government is assessing the damage to the Cry Island Reef. With plans to seek compensation from the cruise company, due to the unique biodiversity of the area, evaluators will recommend compensation of 650 euro 985 euro per square meter, a total of 1.05 million euro 1.58 million euro. That's the advice from Ricardo Tapilatu, a marine researcher from the University of Papua, who is leading the assessment team. Mr. Tapilatu said a tugboat from Sorong City was deployed to help refloat the cruise ship, which is something that shouldn't have happened because it damaged the reef even worse. They should have waited for high tide to refloat the vessel. Caledonian Sky had set sail from Papua New Guinea on February 25th and was scheduled to arrive in the Philippines on March 14th. MS Caledonian Sky owned by UK-based chair company Noble Caledonia said in a statement we are working with local experts to understand how we can assist with the regeneration of reef. We value our relationships around the world with local people, and we are sorry to have impacted the local community. Noble Caledonia has established a fund with the aim of helping the local population and contributing to the repair of reef. The company said it has provided this type of tour without incident for over 25 years. Raja Ampat means four kingdoms in Indonesian and sits between the Pacific and Indian Oceans.